Unraveling the mystery. The phrase, go south. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's English language learning video. In this session, we're going to explore the intriguing phrase, go south. This expression is a great example of how colorful and context dependent the English language can be. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, Understanding these kinds of idiomatic expressions is key to sounding like a native speaker. So, let's dive in. First, let's break down the phrase. Literally, go south simply means to travel or move in a southern direction. For example, the birds go south for the winter. However, our focus today is on its idiomatic usage, which is quite different. In everyday speech, when something goes south, it means it deteriorates, fails, or suddenly becomes less successful. For instance, the project was going well, but then everything went south. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help in remembering them. The phrase, go south, might have originated from the United States, where, south, was associated with down on a map. This led to the metaphorical meaning of things declining or going downhill. Another theory suggests it's linked to the idea of people heading south to escape the law, implying a turn towards the worse or failure. Let's see some examples to clarify how this phrase is used in everyday English. 1. Business context. After the new policy was implemented, our sales figures started to go south. 2. Personal projects. I was trying to bake a cake, but halfway through, everything went south, and it was a disaster. 3. General use. The party was fun until the music system went south, and everyone got bored. These examples show how versatile the phrase is across different contexts. To expand your vocabulary, it's good to know similar expressions. Here are a few. Fall apart. Go downhill. Take a turn for the worse. Hit rock bottom. Each of these can be used in a similar context as go south, though the nuances might differ slightly. And that's a wrap on the phrase, go south. I hope this video has helped demystify this interesting idiomatic expression and added a new phrase to your English repertoire. Remember, language learning is an adventure full of fascinating discoveries. Keep exploring, and you'll find that every new phrase or idiom you learn illuminates another little corner of the English language. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.